good friend and client, Rafael Martinez from Houston. We want to give you our special award for our brand ambassador of the year. So, can we get a photo? Rafa. I forgot your last name because I'm just used to calling you Rafa. <laughs> last name, Rafa. Yeah, exactly, right. Definitely a good one. Thank you, Rafa. What's up guys, this is Rafa with Rafa Racing. We are here at Monterey 2023 Car Week at the Quill, checking out a bunch of new cars. We've been walking around, taking a look and see what's here. We did have Hennessy unveil the uh, Revolution uh, Roadster. Uh, absolutely phenomenal car. I believe it might be actually MJ's car from the pictures that I've seen. It was a fully exposed with the yellow colors on it. Pretty special moment when uh, John had all of them fired up. So there was eight Hennessy F5s just roaring the entire, uh, arena here but yeah absolutely perfect day really excited to get the day going and taking a look at the rest of the cars um yeah this is car heaven all right so we're here in front of rolls royce looking at this rose pinkish purplish color looks pretty cool um the car itself already is super smooth and quiet and just floats like a boat so making it electric i think just i guess makes that even more more so but I kind of like it. I think a different color for me, but the other ones are just a little bit too big. Like the other ones feel like you have to be actually driven. That's why I never actually bought one because it just didn't feel right. Yeah, so now we're here at McLaren taking a look at the Solus. That's the first customer delivered car. I actually got to see that one at Goodwood um, go up the hill. Hopefully I get to drive one one day. They unfortunately sold out. Um, they did, I believe, 25 of them and they were all spoken for before they announced it. So. I am considering whether to get a 750S or not, but with the 765, I may not actually need a 750. We'll see. I like it though. It looks pretty cool. It looks like a a combination of the 765 and a 720, some uniqueness to it as well. So that's the valor. I uh, I got the Houston guys who put me on the list. We'll see if we get one. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's a real piece of sculpture, but a usable a usable. Threat real special cars right yeah most of them are this this has still got a trunk still fit stuff in it that looks like a uh, wannabe uh bugatti i didn't say that but it looks like it's all electric it's got a range of 400 kilometers about 240 miles before you get stranded in the middle of the road not really sure what people do when they run out of battery because gas stations are easy to find battery packs or like charging stations not so much all right, so now we got this singer here. This is actually pretty mean. I love the white body. I like the champagne color. I don't think it would be for me, but I like it. I actually expected this car being a four-seater to be a lot wider and longer. It should be wider and longer for like a four-seater, right? Like, it's an awesome car. I like it. But yeah, that's a lot taller than. Yeah, because the other one's like half the length, right? Yeah, I can hold it for you. All right, thank you. It's pretty spacious, actually. The seats are real slim, so you got quite a bit of room. It's cool. I figure out what the what the weight list on this guy is. I do like that it has four cup holders. Yeah, and they're heated and cool. Oh. Yeah, so it's got four in the front, four in the back. That's awesome. I like it. What, uh, how are the deliveries on these guys? The delivery? Yeah, like time wise and. If you order it now, I would say, I'm not in sales, but I would say that's probably four years. Okay. Somewhere like there. Yeah. We are starting production beginning of next year. Okay. 
we just unveiled a new factory and everything, so All right. it's going to take some time for us to get set up and then just start. Yeah, yeah, get it going. Yeah. It takes roughly 3,000 hours to make one car, so... That's incredible. Everything is handmade. All the stitches, the paint uh, is uh, manually painted, nothing yeah. is automatic. Have you been in the back seat? I haven't. That's the best part. That's not too bad. Yeah. But it's actually really cool. Yeah, it's pretty spacious. This is really ergonomic the way you sit back on it. You see that tent? Yeah, damn. That chrome tent. I mean, it's not my style, but we really like the race car, though. The race car is really money. Mm. Doing great, how are you? Yeah, what? I, I, I don't know much about this car. Makes sense. It was revealed today. Okay. Uh, so MC Extrema, MC20 variant, track only. Okay. 62 units will be produced uh, for the world. Okay. 730 horsepower, 730 new meters of torque. Okay. It's a lot of fun. It goes back to the roots of Maserati racing, but still is going to be, you know, elegant and luxurious for a race car. Yeah, so now we're going to walk over to Bugatti and take a look at these guys. I mean, they're cool. I, I certainly like them. Obviously, there's nothing not to like. But no, there's nothing really not to like. But then I just look at the price tag and I'm like, ah. Oh. You know? And then the maintenance bill. It's men looking. The problem is like paying 4.5 for that thing or 5 or whatever they go for. It's pretty insane. Yeah, so it's actually really cool that on this one, they have like what it looks to be like the designer's actual sketches of its inspiration for the car which is actually pretty cool i've never seen it done on a car like that it's actually really cool i don't know if it's gold or bronze or one of the two maybe both all right so now we're here at gunther we just left uh bugatti i have uh, one of those guys on order i gotta get in my donor car oh my God. yeah that sounds actually really good. How you doing? Welcome. Hey, Rafa. Hi, Pablo. Nice to meet you. Nice We've texted, I think, exchanged messages again. Yeah. Here and there. Yeah. How are you? Doing great. Good. Yeah, I was just telling them I need to commit on the donor car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah let's do it. Let's get it rolling. Yeah. <laughs> just all the carbon inside again. I think it's a common theme here lately that everybody's trying to do carbon in the interior. This is all carbon built in California. It's a manual. I believe it's 700 horsepower. And um, I really like enjoy the fact that it's built in the USA. I think that's one of the big things that I really like about this car, but man, it's so mean looking. Like everything about this car is so mean. I'm excited about this one. Out of all the cars here, these are still my favorite cars. I got my two babies over there. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that, was a, that was a mild one. Yeah, that was already a warm start. So yeah, this is the uh, Venom F5 Revolution Roadster. I actually really like the roof scoop aspect of it, the way it hangs. It is a pretty special car. I love the exposed carbon, the yellow touches. There's nothing that's to love about this car. The way it sounds, the looks, everything about it is pretty cool. You got the Revolution in the white. That's the original one that I saw being tested. We actually saw this one at MSR just getting a quick shakedown. Uh, we were there early in the summer and uh, it sounded amazing. It looked great on track. So really excited to see what the Revolution track package feels like. Uh, this one obviously has the American uh, flag colors or the uh, you know U.S. homage to it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this is a guy that they unveiled yesterday, which is a really cool street color. Looks pretty cool, really awesome. I still haven't said in it. Can you believe I've never even touched it? So this is my Roadster. It is... Um, inspired after John's White Viper. And um, obviously it has a very iconic, almost like baseball glove color leather. I still haven't touched it. Touched it for the first time. Yeah, I'm excited to drive this one. Might drive this one tomorrow instead of the, the coupe, just to uh, catch some breeze. Then we have uh, my coupe here. This one I've driven around a bunch. I need to actually drive it. It's been a while since I drove it, but this one's the other one that was also inspired with the uh, blue Viper, and it's the blue with the white stripes. Again, with the same baseball leather interior, so they're almost twins, but opposite in the, in the uh, color combination. 
And uh, yeah, really excited to uh, get to drive them tomorrow and um, go on the rally and join some of the other owners and hit the road, enjoy California weather. And uh, yeah, but really excited for the rest of the weekend. So we just got to exactly some Broadway's absolute madness. There's all kinds of people, all kinds of cars. We rolled up deep with the uh, Hennessy F5. It's made so much noise. They're so loud. They absolutely have to be the best sounding cars ever. Just looking at all kinds of cars driving by or even being parked there, getting revved up. Nothing compares to the Venom. I'm really excited and happy to be here. It's a pretty crazy car show. So we're here at the Pebble Beach Concourse and uh, it's end of day, it's been a long weekend, a lot of exciting stuff, looking at cars, doing the drives. Today we got to see a bunch of other beautiful crazy cars. Uh, there's all kinds of really uh, old cars, like 80, 100 year old cars uh, sitting in the lawn down on the, uh, on the golf course. Pretty, pretty crazy to see some of these cars being in such an incredible condition uh, and how well they've been maintained and just you know, how long the history of the cars is. We got to hang out in the Aston Martin Lounge, networked with some of their staff, some of the creative directors and, and the engineering team behind it and learn more about the cars. And you know, in looking at everything that they have going on, the Valor is actually a car that I really, really like. Just everything, the history and everything that goes behind it. I've always liked that type of a car um, and I never really pulled the trigger on any of them. So. I think if I can find my way to getting a value allocation, it would be pretty incredible. I didn't find anything here to buy, but I think the one thing I may walk away with is the desire to get the Valhalla in order to get the, the Valor, or try to get the Valor. Uh, the Valhalla is still an incredible car, a pretty cool art piece there. So anyways, it's been a great weekend. I'm really excited, pretty exhausted walking around so much, but hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. As always, tell your friends, tell your family. See you next time.